University of Houston is located in Houston, Texas, the uh, energy capital of the world. So this is an excellent place for students to study physics. We have a broad range of topics uh, that we study. Uh, we study uh, the traditional uh, topics in physics like high energy physics so, uh, and condensed matter and materials research and biological physics. Yeah, but interestingly we also study a lot of topics that are, are not traditionally studied in physics departments. Uh, topics like uh, seismic and medical imaging. The bulk of the work that I've um, done recently uh, involves complex networks, uh, probing the structure as well as the, the function of complex networks. The practical applications that um, r really are, are, are far range. So in, in engineered networks, like in street grids or in, or in the internet, um, routing traffic is, is a really important prop, uh, problem and just um, decide how to route um, uh, cars or packets um, in the appropriate ways, you can dramatically increase the, um, the capacity of the network to, to support traffic. We are working on uh, a few fields related to material synthesis, and uh, like uh, carbon nanotubes, thermoelectrics, uh, photovoltaics, uh, nanobiomaterials for applications in energy conversion, more efficient systems, solar energy conversion, a higher resolution biosensors for early uh, detection or early diagnosis of different kind of you know, cancers or different kind of problems of the human bodies. As a biological physicist, we're interested how things work in living systems. So we're interested in macromolecular interactions structures and dynamics in a cellular environment. The direct practical application would be drug design and my uh, students who graduate from our group, they now work in a drug design company and they also work as uh, postdoctoral researchers at a medical center. Mission-oriented seismic research is fundamental seismic research that it's addressing a problem in the petroleum industry in seismic exploration that if you could solve it would make a significant positive impact on their ability to locate and produce hydrocarbon. The mission-oriented seismic research program has 20 petroleum industry uh, sponsors. We identify problems with, uh, in consultation with them, but not talking to their researchers necessarily, but talking to the people in their operating units who know what the real problems are. We train our students how do you identify a problem wherever, not just seismic, how do you identify a problem and then how do you go about solving a problem that has not been solved? What we're doing now at these experiments is we are colliding heavy ions together, gold or lead nuclei, close to the speed of light. And during the collision, we deposit the amount of energy that we think was there at the beginning of the universe. And then we try to see how the formation of matter in, in this time has evolved from the microseconds after the Big Bang until today. So you go from a particular state in which the matter is to the state that we have now through protons and neutrons that we have in the universe now. And we're looking for you know, the earliest part of the universe and trying to understand what happened during the earliest part of the universe. But we also have an international collaboration in China with the Daya Bay experiment that is trying to understand the neutrino flux that comes from the sun and, and trying to understand whether neutrinos can oscillate or not. We have uh, dark matter searches in, uh, in Italy in the Gran Sasso tunnel where we're involved in. And all of these are large international collaborations. One of the most exciting parts about uh, being a student in the physics department at the University of Houston um, are the opportunities that you have available to you, uh, both inside and outside of the classroom. Uh, in my field, biological physics, it's very important that we have the opportunity to actually collaborate with other researchers who are also interested in this field. And University of Houston is close to the Texas Medical Center, therefore there's lots of opportunities for research collaboration. 
There's no shortage of research opportunities here um, on a number of different projects that, that just touch all areas of physics. I think one of the things that makes a university really special is the, the diversity. University of Houston is the second most diverse institution in the nation. For the physics department, having a diverse uh, student population as well as faculty is of great benefit because it exposes us to uh, many different aspects of uh, cultures and communities and how they think about science and technology. We have a very, very nice camaraderie um, amongst faculty members as well as um, the students. Um, we try to make it a, a warm and inviting place. The city of Houston itself, I think, is, is an interesting place to, to live and, and to work. And I think that excitement continues here uh, within the department.